Hey guys, it's the Truth Fairy. Um, I'm sorry it's so late. This is probably one of the biggest days in second stimulus uh, history, whatever. I'm so tired. Um, today was my granddaughter's third birthday, and she is most important, and it was her day, and I did everything for her today. I wasn't going to do a video. It's not fair to her. Um, she deserved my full attention all day, and she got that. I just got her in bed. Too many cupcakes. I don't know. But anyway, long story short, here we go. Just going to hit you with it. We're getting another $1,200 stimulus, just like the first time. The only difference from the first stimulus to this one is dependents get $1,200 instead of $5 this time. That's the only difference. They're doing it the same way. They're distributing it the same way. It's happening the same way. I told you guys just a few days ago that if this did indeed happen, I was going to tell you what I thought the best thing for you to do would be. I'm absolutely 110% confident that telling you to go to non-filers and give the IRS your information before this thing gets signed by the president and they start sending these things out again, because you're going to wait again. If you're on Direct Express and you wait, you do nothing, it's going to take as long as it took this time, maybe longer. They don't have your information. They're actually still debating whether or not they're going to make everybody on Social Security go on to non-filers and make this thing faster. They know it's faster. They know if you go on non-filers and give them your information, they can get the money to you way faster. If you did non-filers the first time, like I did, like LaTanya did, like Linda did, like a bunch of people that I sent over to non-filers, don't worry about it. They've got your information. We'll be in the first round. You don't have to wait until you get your normal benefits on whatever card or form that you get your normal Social Security benefits on. You don't have to wait. So if you don't want to wait this time and you don't want to wonder where it is and you don't want to go through the same bullshit and anxiety as the first time, then you need to go to the non-filers tool like immediately. It's like almost two o'clock in the morning. So, I mean, if you're up and you see it and you want to, you can. Um, in the morning, absolutely, definitely go to the non-filers tool. Give them your information. It takes five minutes. I've walked probably 40 people through this thing. Um, there are a few that I promised to do and walk through the non-filers on Wednesday. I spent all day Wednesday throwing up from the antibiotic shot that I got. Antibiotics and I just don't. I mean, they do, their tr they do the trick and they do their job, but they don't like me and I don't like them and they make me sick most every time I take them. So, um, I was out cold Wednesday. Yesterday wasn't any better. Today, I mustered up enough energy and stuff to throw my daughter or my granddaughter a birthday party and take her down to Bricktown in Oklahoma City and let her look at the fountains and the things that she loves. And that's what we did. And I'm sorry I didn't get it to it earlier. I'll be perfectly 100% honest. I didn't even look. I didn't look until I put her to bed and she fell asleep at 1.45 Central Time, which is Oklahoma time, um, which was 10, 15 minutes ago. And I'm floored that I didn't look, but it wouldn't have mattered. I wouldn't have done a video. She comes first. You guys know that about me. Um, so my family comes first and then you guys. And so that's why I'm doing this in my basement at two o'clock in the morning. The entire house is asleep. So I came down here. Uh, to let you guys know that we're definitely getting another stimulus. Uh, from what I read, I don't know that it's been signed by anyone, but they all came to the conclusion, $1,200, $1,200 per, for dependents this time. Uh, I'm not real clear because I read it pretty fast and wanted to do the video just to get it out so you guys would know. Um, I will come, I'll do a whole live tomorrow. Uh, she's, she won't, uh, she's going to her mom's tomorrow. She's going to be with her mom all weekend. She's going to be with Gabby all weekend. So, um, I will do live tomorrow. We'll do live on Saturday. We'll do live on Sunday. We're going to hash it out. We're going to talk it out. If you have questions, I'll answer them. If you want to know about non-filers, I'll answer those questions. But I have advocates that can advocate for this non-filers thing. You go to non-filers, give them your information before this thing starts being dispersed, and you won't have to wait. 
You won't have to, we won't have to do what we did the first time. You will get it in when they start depositing stuff into like last time they signed it on the 27th, people started getting it on the 15th of April. If they sign it on Monday, which is what some of them say will happen, president probably won't sign it on Monday, but it will be signed and done by the president by the 7th of, of August. So we're looking at around, I would say the 20th of August for the first ones to start going out. Um, and then, you know, it's gonna go out the same way. It's gonna go by income level, the exact same way that it went in there this time. Uh, the only difference is I feel like they probably will open non-filers back up and let people put in their direct deposit information. I will make sure about that. If they do that, absolutely run to non-filers, put in a debit or credit card that you have, that you have access to the routing number or the, and not or, the routing number and the account number. If you don't have a Cash App card, that's what I did this last time, it worked perfectly. Um, I know some people said they had problems with it. I didn't, and most of the people I talked to didn't. So I think what was happening is people were putting the account number where the routing number went and vice versa. And in turn, they didn't get it because the numbers weren't right and in the right spots. Uh, if you go in there and you get it, if you have a Cash App, use your Cash App. If you don't have one, download Cash App from Google Play. <coughs> Sorry. Fill it all out. Just go by that it's really easy to do. And within five to seven business days, you'll have it in your mailbox. And when you go onto the app, once you get the card, it will give you the routing and account number. And then you'll be able to go in and put it on non-filers. If they don't allow you to do that, then at least you'll get the paper check way faster than you had to wait to get it on your Direct Express card, on your uh, NetSpin card, on your Chime card, whatever it is that you get your social security on. And some people still get checks. Uh, you know, a lot of those people have all gotten theirs. It seems like the only people that are waiting are, are the people that get their their uh, SSI or Social Security on Direct Express. Those are the only people that are still waiting. If you don't have a Direct Express card and you still haven't got the first one, hit me up. I will help you with that. Um, once the second one's in full force, though, I'm going to, we're going to go, you know, balls deep into this one so that I can make sure that everybody knows what to do and the best way to do it to get it the fastest. We learned from the first one. We all learned together. And just because they say that you can't, that you shouldn't, or not shouldn't, but that you don't have to. You don't have to. You wait. They'll get together. They'll get it for you. Obviously, we know that didn't work very well. What do you do? You go and give the IRS the information that they need and that they're looking for. It takes five minutes. It's not that big of a deal. Just because they say you shouldn't doesn't mean you can't. I did it. There's a lot of other people that did it. You're not going to get penalized. They're not going to say, oh, you don't get your stimulus. We told you not to do that. So you're not supposed to do that. There was all kinds of things all over every website that I read when it came to SSI that was like, just give them your information. They say don't do it. And the reason that they did that is because they didn't want a lot of older people are on Social Security. There's the young ones of us as well. But there's a lot of older people on Social Security. And they were afraid that the older people wouldn't have access to a computer or a phone to be able to go on to non-filers and give the IRS the information. And they didn't want to burden those people. So they made it to where the Social Security Administration and the IRS got together got the information and started depositing. We know how long that took. Like there's the first round for Direct Express didn't come out until what was it May the 13th is when a lot of deposits started going. They signed this thing on March 27th. That's it. that's way too long. Like there's no reason it should take them that long to get your information from Social Security and you don't have to. You can go on to non-filers, give the IRS your social security number, your current address, all the things that they need, you're gonna have to do it anyway if you have dependents. You're gonna have to. So if you didn't do it the first time, I implore you to go and do it. You will get it way faster this time, guys. I'm telling you, you'll get it way faster. I wouldn't lie to you. I think I have built my reputation with you guys 
through this first stimulus, I wouldn't lead you down a road that would be something you shouldn't do or would jeopardize you getting your stimulus in any way. It will not. It won't. I got mine. Uh, Latanya Porter got hers. Um, Latanya is the main one that I can think of because I'm so tired and my brain is just not functioning right tonight. Um, I'm exhausted. Latanya will tell you. I promise you once this gets uploaded, she will go into the comments and be like, do it. The Truth Fairy told you to do it. Do it. You will get it way faster. Why? Because you won't have to wait for the Social Security Administration to give them your information again. They're going to have to go through them again. They didn't write it down. They didn't keep it in some kind of record. They're going to have to go back and re-talk to Social Security and get your information. So go give them the information that they need so that they can you can be among the first people to get it. I know that I will be. Um, I hope they open it back up so that I can get Bobby on there so that he doesn't have to wait on a check. But if he does, that's that's fine. Mine should happen in the first round. They have my Cash App card. They have everything they need from me. I have. They have all the correct information. I did it. I got mine in, I think it was exactly 16 days. It's 14 to 18 can be anywhere as early as 14 as late as 18 sometimes 22 that doesn't really happen often but it can that's way faster guys than the first time this is all going to go down just like the first one did they're not changing anything but the amount dependents get it's still the same like criteria seventy thousand dollars seventy five thousand dollars for an individual 150 for a married filing jointly a couple and then $1,200 per dependent up to three. So um, that's the only thing that's really changing. They're gonna do it the same way. I was kind of thinking that this is exactly what was gonna happen, but I didn't wanna go out on that limb and say go to non-filers and put it in if they were gonna put it on a debit card and send it all to people in the mail. That wouldn't have helped anybody. So now that I know they're doing it the exact same way, I'm telling you, the way you do this the second time, because we learned from the first, non-filers. If they don't open it back up to let you put a debit card in there, that's okay. Put your information in, leave that portion blank. You're going to have to because that deadline for that was over a long time ago. They could open it back up though. And I think that they probably will because it's going to be easier for them to put it on a debit card than for them to like you know mail you a check or go through that bullshit so make sure that you go and you do that i'm telling you it's the best way they need your information <clears throat> that's what they were lacking the first time and i will i will tell you this everybody that went to non-filers the first time is going to get it fast the second time i promise you that's exactly what's going to happen i know i watched the first one go down like week by week by week by month by month and it's going to happen the same way you guys it's going to happen the same way so um i'm sorry i'm tired i'm sorry that this is you know it's straight to the point i want you guys to know what the truth is i didn't want to do anything until i knew i didn't check today because my granddaughter comes first it's her birth it was her birthday it's all about her as soon as she went to sleep People, there were several of my subscribers that sent me links. And I'm like, why are they sending me links? Now I know. But that's the deal. She comes first. You guys come second. Here I am in my basement, 2.30 in the morning, doing a close to 13-minute video now. So that's what's happening. We're getting it. Nothing's been signed yet, but it's all been agreed upon. It should be signed by the House and the Senate on Monday. Then the President should go ahead and sign it shortly after that. Like, I think he knows that if if he didn't, like, re-election for him would be too far grasping to, to get. If he shuts this thing down and doesn't give us the $1,200, he might as well just be putting the nails in his own coffin when it comes to his re-election. So, he's going to sign it. They're going to sign it. They came to the agreement today. They put it all out there that that's exactly how they're going to do it. They are absolutely mirroring the first stimulus, the first stimulus package, only dependents get $1,200 instead of five, up to three. So thank you guys. Um, thank you for being patient with me. I love all of, all of y'all. I have the best subscribers on YouTube, the best. And I appreciate everybody who's donated, um, who's given me money on Super Chat, Nikki, TC, 
um, Aisha, you guys rock. Um, if you want to help me with my GoFundMe, please do that. Uh, all of the information's over on my Facebook group or my page. Hit me up at nelvbrown at gmail.com. It's N-E-L-F-I-B-R-O-W-N at gmail.com. Shoot me over. Hey, send me a link to your GoFundMe. I'll send it to you. It's real easy. It gets to me really fast. Um, in Super Chat, you know, I don't get all of that money. YouTube gets 50% of it, and that's fine with me. That's okay. But uh, to do what I need to do and get the merchandise, the, the Wi-Fi is taken care of. I, I had someone take their, care of that for me and my family. And so all of this stuff that you guys are helping me with is going towards merch. Uh, I know you guys want it. You've been asking for it. We're going to get it. I'm going to get the merch store loaded up. By next week, I will have the join button down at the bottom where you can uh, join three tiers where you get early access to videos. You get uh, merchandise, free merchandise, signed by me, signed by bot, whatever you want. Whatever your heart desires or your request, nothing is too crazy. We'll do it. No naked pictures. Y'all know. Anyway, love you guys. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I upload videos. I hope everybody's getting notifications okay. If you're not, let me know. I'll look into it. Thanks for being patient, guys. I'm sorry it's so late at night. I am going to upload this at 2.30 in the morning. Just beware. Um, but I think in the morning when everybody sees the notification on their phone, you know, you guys will know that I at least, as soon as my daughter and granddaughter's birthday party was over and I got her in bed, that you guys were my second priority. So um, it's happening. We're doing this again, and I'm kind of excited. We're gonna go through this all again. It was fun the first time. It'll be more fun the second time. So um, this is the Truth Fairy. I love you guys. I'm out. I'll see y'all tomorrow. We're going. I'm going live early. So um, just just be ready. It's gonna be before 11 o'clock, and I don't normally do that. I normally wait till the evening because I have other things to do and I have crippling anxiety. And it takes me till the evening to work up to do some of these live videos. Th these are easy. It's just like talking to anybody normal. Um, just talking. It, so it's fine. But when it's live, I get crippling anxiety from that sometimes. So, um, but we're doing it. We're doing this again. I hope you guys will be with me. Um, thank you guys for everything. So I'm going to wrap this up. My brain is fried. And um, Nikki, Aisha, TC... You guys rock it out. I love you, Nikki. I will be calling you probably tomorrow sometime so we can get together and figure out all the cool things we're going to do because we're going to have giveaways. We're going to do some fun stuff for the second video or second, see, my brain, this second stimulus. So I'm uploading this. I'm not editing it, editing it at all. You guys get to see me in all my crazy, tired glory. So uh, like, subscribe, just say it again. <laughs> And hit the notification bell so you know when I upload videos. And I will see you guys before 11 o'clock live. Truth Fairy 2, I'm out. Bye, guys.